Hi, Ben here from Tried and Fly Fishing, and today I've got with me the all new Hardy Aiden, or Aiden, or, well, maybe Howard can just come in and tell me how it's pronounced. Rewind a couple of years ago, and the Hardy Shadow was one of our best selling Hardies. It was a moderate action, reasonably priced rod from a storied, high performance brand. Unfortunately, that rod was discontinued and it really left a gap in the lineup and certainly in my heart. But now Hardy's replacing that shadow with the all new Aiden. This rod is touted as a medium, medium fast action rod and it's priced well below any of the current Hardy lineup. It's the brand new mid-priced Hardy and I'm really excited to check it out. But before we get out and cast it, Let's walk you through some of the features on this great new rod. Starting at the bottom, you'll notice a lot of similarities between this rod and a lot of other rods in the Hardy lineup. It's got a nice double up locking reel seat using what they call a keyed reel seat. And that means it's just slightly asymmetrical. So it still looks round, but provides you that nice benefit of not letting this locking band move around. Then it's got a really nice burled wood insert here. And that leads to a really nice versed half wells grip. The cork here is pretty much as good as the cork you'll see on any hardy rod. And it's really pretty smooth. One thing that I found a little bit odd is that the diameter of this bulge here in the grip is a little bit larger than previous iterations. Certainly way thicker than on the Gray's rods. And I'd say this makes it better for people who have larger hands, but it's not overly large. So I wouldn't let that scare you off if you have small hands. Then that leads us into this gorgeous olive blank. And of course, this being a hardy rod, it's built with their Centrix technology, which is an awesome 3M resin that adds to that high performance nature of the rod and increases both strength and accuracy. Of course, Hardy gives us alignment dots and that's finished off with hard chrome stripping guides and hard chrome single foot guides going up the rod. And like the Gray's wing, this rod also employs smaller single foot guides up near the tip. And that's gonna give the rod better accuracy. And I definitely felt that while casting it. And of course, bass rods have been using micro guides for many years with great success. But now let's get this rod out in the field and see how it casts. I wanted to briefly interrupt this review to let you know that this video is supported 100% by your purchases at Trident Fly Fishing. So if you're in the market for some new tackle, check us out at tridentflyfishing.com. Today was a big casting day and we cast all three of the new Gray's rods plus this Hardy Aiden. And the Aiden was definitely the best casting rod at the shorter distance and also the lightest rod, which is what you'd expect. And Gray's is supposed to be quote unquote, lower performing than Hardy. Starting at 30 feet, it becomes clear that this rod is a very moderate rod. It's got lots of feel at that first distance and accuracy is quite good. Now we started out casting it on an MPX line and overall, I would say that this rod matches up better as a true to line weight. So something like a Rio Gold is what you're gonna actually wanna pair this with. We had an in-touch gold that we cast and that was pretty good, but I think even better would be a standard gold or whatever your favorite true to weight trout line is. Move back to 45 feet, you got that nice deep flex. It's absolutely a true medium to medium fast action and highly, highly accurate at the middle distance. All in all, fantastic rod at 45 feet, as long as you're not looking for something that's fast and that you're gonna wanna punch into the wind. Moving back to 60 feet, MPX is definitely not the choice on this rod. However, it's a compliment to Howard and the Hardy team for how well it does with an MPX. It's still reasonably accurate being a moderate action rod and overweighted. Throw on that Rio Gold, you're gonna get great performance, great accuracy at the longer distance. And frankly, this is a rod that will do pretty much anything you ask it. It's gonna give you tons and tons of feel and feedback, and it's a fantastic addition to the Hardy lineup. Now let's go inside and give it a Poseidon score. After casting, the all new Aiden, I think it brings a lot of character to the Hardy lineup. It gives people a more accessible price point, 
but also a totally different action and an action that a lot of people will really like. This rod is actually gonna compete with a lot of higher end dry fly specific rods like the TNT Paradigm and the Scott G2. It's just priced so much less. And with that said, Hardy is bringing a whole range of Aiden rods to the market this year. So you're gonna be able to get switch rods, spay rods, and even six piece travel rods in the new Aiden. And I'm excited for one to check out all of those rods and see how they cast individually. Now it's time for our Poseidon score. Starting with accuracy, this rod is nice and accurate, but it does suffer a little bit at the longer distances and it earns an eight out of 10. Up next is components and the Aiden here is definitely not as nice as say the Ultralight series, but it's all totally fine and earns a seven out of 10. In terms of distance and power, the Aiden is definitely more of a medium, medium fast rod, and it's just not gonna bring you a lot of power. With that said, it does have great recovery, and for a rod like this, it does pretty well. It earns a 6.5 out of 10. In terms of the grip, you have great cork, and it's definitely functional, but I found the added diameter a little bit awkward, and it loses a half a point there, so I'm gonna give it a 7.5 out of 10. In terms of looks and workmanship, Hardy does a great job and these rods look great and perform really well, but they're just not as pretty as a TNT. So I'm gonna give it an 8.5 out of 10. In terms of swing weight, the new Aiden comes in at about 62 gram meters squared, which is about run of the mill for five weights today. It's totally fine, it's not heavy, and it actually probably feels a little bit lighter than the swing weight would otherwise suggest. With that said, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10 for swing weight. Up next is value, and at $550, this is a reasonable value for a Hardy rod. It's the least expensive Hardy on the market today. If you wanna get into the Hardy brand, this represents a pretty good value. It's also a really great casting rod if you're not pushing the limits. I'm gonna give it an 8.5 out of 10 for value. And last but not least is the cool factor. While this is the brand new Hardy, it definitely doesn't compare with rods from Scott and some of the other brands that are a lot more popular in the US market today. I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. And that leaves us with a total Poseidon score of 59.5, which is about in the middle of the range and about what you'd expect from a mid-price rod. Let us know what you think about this new Aiden. And more importantly, let us know if you know the correct pronunciation of the new Aiden by leaving a comment in the box below. And don't forget if you have questions about this rod or any rod in the Hardy lineup, give us a call at 888-413-5211 or email us 24 seven at support at tridentflyfishing.com. I'm Ben, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.